What's up everybody, welcome back to another vlog. Now today is the art gallery. This is the second art gallery that I'm hosting. I'm super excited that it's today. So I have a few hours to run some errands before the gallery. The gallery is later on in this afternoon. It is a pop-up gallery, so it's only for one day. And I'm super excited. So let's just get this day started. And also guys, today I'm gonna give you five tips, five tips on shooting better B-roll. That's all today in today's vlog. Yes, today, it is Saturday, not yesterday, but today. I'll see you all a little bit later. All right, so I'm just gonna cut that short. It's pretty hot and moving the camera and moving those huge frames and everything. It's, I'll see you all downstairs. I'm just gonna cut that short. All right, today is such a nice day. It's like extremely beautiful out, but it might be a little too bright for this camera. And I did not bring my ND filter. But luckily, I have tinted windows in my car. I'm gonna put them up, and maybe there's gonna be a slight difference. Um, you guys may not notice, but I will definitely notice if there's a slight difference. All right, so today's video is about five tips for shooting better B-roll. Tip number one for shooting better B-roll is sequence. You wanna maintain a solid sequence when you're shooting B-roll. A solid sequence helps share a story of what's going on if you're traveling, what you're doing and things like that. Let's take this sequence here as an example. What I thought about while shooting the B-roll to maintain a solid sequence was showing the order in which I do cook. Start out by washing my hands, preparing all ingredients, actually turning on the stove, cooking, and then at the end eating. So you want to maintain that natural solid sequence and your viewers will definitely appreciate it in the long run. So in talks of sequence, it's about time for me to continue on with the sequence of my day. I just arrived here at my old home. I'm gonna handle all these errands. Why don't you guys enjoy some of this nice B-roll that I took in the city with Jorge and Kevin the other day, and it's just absolutely <laughs> Like a totally different person. Don't you just love when you look like a totally different person? You look normal again. Right now I'm going to pick up a laser leveler or something like that. Um, last year I spent a lot of time hanging the pictures trying to get them all the same height and level. This year I have a laser that's going to shoot straight across, line up the top of the frames, and hang on I'm good to go. But while I'm driving again I guess we might as well just hit up that second tip for shooting better b-roll. Tip number two is to film a subject. Now maintaining a subject in B-roll is extremely important. It helps viewers understand who or what the, your sequence is about. I like to use people, but you can also use any noun, a, you know, person, place, or thing. So now your B-roll sequence has a sense of clarity of who it's about or what it's about. Yes. That little box right there was much needed. It's gonna save me so much time when it comes to hanging and leveling these photo frames. So that mission is accomplished. I'm heading back home to change, and then I gotta come right back out to the gallery and set up. Doors open at seven o'clock. The time now is 4.35. So I think I'm in good timing, guys. I'm in good timing. Let's get to tip number three. Tip number three is adding sound to your B-roll. Now, of course, you wanna add, you know, your typical nice instrumental, uh, you want to edit to the beat and things like that. But I'm talking about a whole new style of sound. Transition sound effects are like whooshes and hits uh, when you have a cool transition from one clip into the next. And it helps make that more dramatic. Background sound effects. 
if you're shooting in the middle of a street, is much more interesting. Things like car horns, um, people talking, you know, birds flying by, things like that that are in the typical urban setting helps the viewer engage directly into the setting when you add that certain type of sound in the background. All right, I made it. That's the gallery right back there. No time to waste. Let's get started. Right there, and that one piece on that wall there. So 